Ah, don't mind me. It's very cold outside, it's minus four. I'm just warming my drone batteries before I put my drone up to get some epic shots out there because I don't want my drone to freeze its batteries and drop out of the sky, which I've heard can happen. <sighs> Should've put them on the car heater, but 2020 vision, boys. <sighs> the temps have already gone down. There's supposed to be four. This is only three. Let's go get some nice shots. It's a winter wonderland. My God, that water's freezing. Whoo! There's a really old secret uh, boathouse over there. There's actually still a boat in there, but it's very cold. I don't know how the sun is right now. Look at that lighting. Early morning, boy. God damn. So, here's a pro tip on why you should always put your gear back after you. I went to the trouble of bringing my beautiful tripod. I was going to set it up here with a nice backdrop of like the river and stuff like that. And it turns out I've forgotten. There's a little slider thing that goes in here and you twist this and it clamps on and it goes into the end of the camera and holds the camera on the tripod. That's at home. Uh, so I'm just going to have to do it with this handheld. I'm going to see if I can try and attach that some way to that. I'm not sure if that will work, but we'll try it anyway. Be right back. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to take this off while I'm talking because I'm sure you're having trouble understanding me. Oh my god, that sun is glorious. I noticed something weird when I was uh, setting up this tripod and trying to figure out if it'll, do it with, it'll fit on the... if the camera will fit on the tripod. I don't know what I'm saying. My jaws are frozen and everything. My hands are freezing. It's a cold day, but the sun is absolutely glorious. There's a gravestone across there. Hold on, let me zoom in on it. See right there, center screen. What an absolutely glorious place to be buried. No joke. It's right by a boathouse and... Hey, there's the apartment I used to live in. I used to live in that one, top corner. So... Had a really nice view, that was a long time ago. I'm just gonna bring this big piece of metal with me that has no purpose. Um, yeah, so this is story time. You thought I forgot about this, but I didn't. I've got a lot of stories, but it's just hard to find the time to tell them and I've gotta be in the right mood and stuff. All right, so I figured something out. I'm gonna put the camera on this ledge here and I'm gonna stand down right beside the river here. Might look a bit better. Because I don't like, when I'm telling a story, I don't like to, I like to have my hands moving, you know. Oh, that's not going to work. It's too low, but we're going to do it anyway. Skibidi boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep. All right. This week on story time, bum bum, uh, I talk about why I got so paranoid when I was camping with dogs. Basically, I was attacked by a dog when I was younger. Now, first of all, a disclaimer. Man, this sun is glorious. It's thawing me out. I was freezing until now. Disclaimer. I really like dogs. I love them. I think they're great. Have had loads of them over the years. Uh, love them. Also love cats. Cats are great too. I believe that you can be both. Here's the thing. 
takes off fight back. When I was a wee lad, uh, I was attacked by a dog. So we'll talk about that. Um, I was at a cousin's house and they had a sheepdog. They had two sheepdogs. Two of them were really nice. Very, uh, very, what's the word I'm thinking of? Man, I can't even think these days. What's going on? Very timid, two nice dogs, beautiful looking. And um, I guess I just caught one of them on an off day, I guess. So what happened was, I was out at a farm one day and I was with these two sheep dogs. They were happy out walking along. Uh, what age was I? I was probably like 11. So that's, it's a good while ago that this happened because I'm an old man now. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. I was walking with the dogs and then went off for a big walk up the fields, came back, two dogs were still with me, happy out, and went inside, had tea and stuff, dogs stayed outside. When I came back outside, we were leaving and everyone was like, well, no, sorry, yeah, we were leaving. And I had gone out to the sheds for some reason, so it was like out of sight of people. And the two dogs came with me and that was great. You know, they're beautiful dogs, why wouldn't I want them with me? And I was rubbing one of them, right, as you do, pet, pet, pet. And then the other one, I don't think this was a jealousy thing, because that one walked off, and then the other one was walking by me. So what I did was, I put my hand on her, on her, her or him, was it a him? I put my hand on his head, and I rubbed. So he was walking, and I rubbed his head down along his back as he was walking. Got to near his tail, so like his, the drop off for his tail was here. Got to like here. And then he turned, jumped, and caught me right here. So this is his top teeth, these are his bottom. He caught me right there in the face and pulled me down. Now I don't have, I used to have a little dribble of a scar there and two like puncture wounds there because his canines went in under here, caught me by the jaw. Um, I got caught right here and like pulled down and then he like ran off. I don't know did he like realize what he had done or something, but he ran off and I was like in complete shock. I was crying. There was blood coming out of my face out of under here and I, my face looked destroyed. It looked like I was after getting like more savagely attacked than I did as blood always does. So I went running out and everyone was saying goodbye to everyone and then they looked at me and seen blood everywhere and they're like, oh my God, what happened? And I was like, you dog bit me, ah. <laughs> and there was blood, like, cause I could see through my eyes, you know, you can see your nose. I could see like the blood there. So I just thought my whole face, you know, when you're younger, you just over dramatize stuff. I thought my whole face was just ripped off. I was like, oh my God, I'm go I'm, this is me done boys. My modeling career is over before it even begun. Um, so, we got, I got into a car, we drove into uh, the surgery really quickly and uh, they were looking at it and once they cleaned off all the blood you could see it wasn't that serious. There was like bite mark here and it slid down a little bit and then the two marks under there. But they just, they didn't even stitch it or anything because they were like small holes so they just, um, they just treated it with stuff and put, and like bandaged it up and bandaged here up. Um, yeah, I don't have I don't have cool kick-ass scares because I don't he didn't catch me properly here It just kind of bit and slid but he caught me underneath here And it's weird because if you feel here while you're watching this video He caught right in under the bone so you can feel like a lip he caught right behind that So he caught me here and I just remember looking Because I was looking at the dog and he turned so fast man. He turned this dog turned at 185,000 miles per hour turned and pounced off his back legs and I just remember seeing the inside of his mouth coming towards my face at like such a pace. I don't know how to explain the speed that this thing was coming at me. Like it just went vroom and it just hit me and then it like dragged me down like that and I was like no I'm dead. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah anyway I don't know what that dog what what was going on with that dog that day but you know put the past behind us and I just never really went near the dogs again and they lived their life and I lived mine pretty much.
Uh, I didn't didn't order the dog to be put down or anything because I don't think that was just. I think maybe I just he was on an off day or something. But I don't know. Basically, I didn't go out for the dog after that, and I didn't talk to him. We were no longer speaking. The dog is since dead because that was years ago. But um, that's why when I when I see like. Uh, when I hear dogs in the distance and they're like rah, 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 and you can hear that they're big dogs. I'm not I'm not afraid of them, I'm not paranoid of dogs or anything. But I just know what they can do and I know how fast they are and how if there's more than one you're you might be in big trouble there. So uh it's not necessarily a fear of dogs, it's just a fear of uh just out of control rampant dogs that will attack you maybe. Big dogs that are just out of control. That's that's my fear. I think that's anyone's fear, really. Um, so yeah, that time up the mountain that the, the little dogs were rawr, 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 rawr. So sad that I was recording that on my phone because this microphone that I have now most likely would have picked up the dogs barking, but my phone would not, which is uh, upsetting. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's been story time. That's why, that's when I got attacked by a dog right in the face. Um, I've got I've got other projects lined up that I'm that I'm working on to add some variation to the channel. Hope you enjoy them. Hope you don't unsubscribe because you think I'm going this way, but really I'm not. I'm going this way. This is what we're doing, boys. We're spanning our wings like a like a falcon hawk. Phoenix, like a phoenix. Wah! But we were never in the ashes to begin with. Yeah, that's been story time. The sun is actually giving me like ultimate light and ultimate energy. Um, but that's been story time, time I got attacked by a dog. I don't think you can see the little marks. Hold on, let's see for yourself. Cause it's really good lighting here. So can you see any scars there? Cause last time that I checked was like ages ago and there was like one, it was somewhere here. Can you see any? I'm not even joking, I hear dogs barking right now, but like not, it's just at somebody's house, because there's houses over there, but that's hilarious that we've been on about it. Look at this! How handy is that? How handy is that? A tr this is a bag holder, not a tripod anymore. So, yeah, that's been story time. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna, I have another story time to come up next week I'm gonna do. I've been really interested to do this one, and it's weird, I gotta word it right. I just picked up the camera this morning and was like, hey, remember that time that dog attacked me in the face? I thought it was last night in bed. I was just thinking to myself, I was like, yeah, I should do a story time on that. So I was like, beautiful morning. Let's get, let, let's eat the wheat, boys. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. There's going to be lots of variety coming to the channel soon. And I hope that you enjoy it and stick along with me for the trip. Don't worry, it's all part of the plan, the master plan. That is this channel's success. No, I'm going out of the sun, back up. Uh, it's all part of the plan, boys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video very soon. And uh, yeah, we'll just, just, I'm not afraid of dogs, right? I just, I really like dogs, but sometimes I just don't want to get bit in the face again, you know? It's not ideal. And I don't know about fighting a dog. I don't know how you fight a dog. Like, imagine if that dog bit me in the face, but then I caught him with a hook right in his jaw while he was on my face. He'd be like, what the? But he was actually under here, so. I don't know how he pulled me down, actually. Because I must have fall. I must have fallen. So it must have been like this, and the force of the dog coming up. I must have like, because I don't remember. I just remember seeing like the back of his throat and the teeth, and it just caught me. And then I didn't feel it. You know, it wasn't like a, ah! it was like, oh my God, ah. It, was, it wasn't, a, ah! it was, oh my God, ah. It wasn't a pain thing, it was more of a panic, you know, there's blood, there's blood coming out of my face and uh, I don't know what's going on. But, that's been story time. Winter wonderland. The cold is nice, but I need it to be hot for uh, reasons. Can't say why yet. Wink. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll see you soon, boys.